Hello there, Mr. Skeleton. How are you doing out there? And hello there, everybody. What is up, guys? This is Reese or Brushette Cub, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So we are here in my house, and we've got a lot of stuff going on in here. We've got the lava here, and if we look outside here, we've got the lava on our platform, which looks like it uh, is actually gotten more more oil. Did I say lava out there? I meant oil. Oh, good heavenly host, proclaim! I should probably get my sword before heading heading out. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm kind of mumbling. I'm, I'm not doing good with words today, but uh, we'll we'll get that sorted out. No worries. Uh, uh oh, there we go. Sword, red morning star. Of course, gotta have the Klein star. And let's decharge that before we cause some trouble. Uh, as we have in the past, we've destroyed the walls in here. I don't know how many times. But uh, all right, anybody out here? No. Nope. Yep, got a skeleton, and a zombie. Absolutely no match for us. We are we are probably the most powerful beings on this server. Well, I don't know, I think everybody probably has these tools by now. But as you can see, I've redid the machine again, uh, making it a little bit different, making it work a little bit better. And there was more oil down there, go figure. We just had to get enough power to the pump to make it work. And uh, so let me walk you through this machine, the changes I made. So basically, now, uh, all of this is still the same, except for I added solar power to this thing now, so that it is independently powered. The, uh, the main difference we want to look at here is we no longer distribute power out. Now we distribute the, the actual, we've been using charcoal. Uh, so it gets distributed out through the distribution pipes to, there's one pump here, or engine, uh, engine I should say. We've got two more steam engines, and then two more down there. And uh, so far, the system seemed to work a lot better. Like, everything was running really smooth until we had something blow up. And I'm not sure what it was. I, it's a toss-up right now. Uh, I think it was one of these engines, though. Overheated and blew up. And I had to come back out here and rebuild everything. But then I actually monitored it. And for some reason, these engines are heating up really fast. Like, really ridiculously fast. And I have no idea why. But uh, it it's ridiculous. It's... I had to shut the whole thing down. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the system doesn't work. It does not work. It's not going to work. And to be honest, I'm sick of messing with it. It's ridiculous. It's overly complicated. And uh, you know what? I am ready to... <clears throat> I'm ready to move on to something else. For some reason, my voice <clears throat> keeps giving me issues here. But, uh, yeah. I, I ain't going to work on this no more. What we're going to do is... I don't know what to do from here because I want to use the oil. But I feel like just trying to, to get everything over here working is is just too stressful. And to be honest, I miss home. I'm ready to go back to the, the secret base. So I think what we're going to do is turn this thing off. Shut that thing down. There we go. And we're going to build some liquid teleporting pipes. Can we make those? Let's see, teleporting pipes. We got power, item, and waterproof. So yeah, we're going to make some waterproof pipes for teleporting. And we're going to teleport all this stuff back to secret base. So let's head inside. And let's actually build those teleporting pipes. You gotta love magnetic mode. Look at all this great stuff. Oh wait, no, I think I picked that up when I killed the people. Okay, never mind. Scratch all of that. Alright, so let's see. We're also going to be moving the lava back there via the, the power teleporting pipes. And we'll take some of the machinery with us because... I just don't want to leave it here. Let's see, power teleporting pipes. How is that going to be made? Not power, I should say waterproof. So it's just a teleporting pipe. Holy fudge. All right, so we're going to need some diamond gears. Not too bad. We already got some stone ones. You may remember I did that in the last episode. Got some iron ones. How many do we need? Two. And then from iron we go to gold. Yep, and then diamonds. All right, got the two of those. Glass in the center gives us eight of these, and we need them to be waterproof. There we go. So eight waterproof teleporting pipes. That should do it. And we should actually have what we need outside to get all this set up. So let's let's go ahead and start with oil, and then we'll come back and do lava. Let's see. Let's get rid of this guy. You monsters! Gah. They're ganging up on me out here. This is horrible. Ooh, man, I don't know if you can hear the puppies outside, but we actually gave a puppy away today to a friend of ours. She uh, came by and picked it up for her brother, so that's that's good. I'm glad to see the puppies finally you know, getting out to a nice home, but it's sort of sad at the same time. Let's see, I don't really want to waste any oil, but at the same time, I, good grief. All right, let me create a secure, a secure zone for this. 
Secure the work zone. Secure the work zone! And let me get rid of that creeper over there, because he, he's, he's going to creep up on me at some point. There we go. Alright. So let's see, what are we going to do? Let's go ahead and just break it off. Let's see, where are we going to lose the least? We'll go ahead and just break it here. It'll all get pumped out into that. And... So for those of you who have never used a power teleporting pipe before, or not a telepo uh, liquid teleporting pipe, we have to select where we want it to... Oh, good gosh, look at these. Shut them down. Or did that just turn them on? Let's break them. And then we'll just replace them and they'll be in good working order. But uh, what you gotta do is right click here and we want to select where we want to send these. And I remember last time we used teleporting pipes, there was a weird bug where if we were wearing a jetpack and a solar helmet and we flew, it would crash. I wonder if it would still do that. Yep, sure does. Yeah, don't don't try to activate them while flying. I've I've got to fix this now. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> and that right there probably remains the strangest bug I have ever seen before in my life. But let's not do it again. Let's uh, right. Oh, what? No, I wasn't even flying that time. Come on now. This that's ridiculous. That is. All right, this is getting a bit ridiculous. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh my word! Why? It wasn't doing that earlier. Come on now. Maybe we should just take off the jetpack. All right, so I've taken off the jetpack and the solar helmet. Maybe I should just break this and place a new one. Alrighty, so I don't really know what fixed it just then, but whatever. We're gonna put this on our usual frequency. Which is, uh, I think it's 103 is what I've used in the past. There we go. And we're not going to hook it up just yet. I've still got that pipe there. So we'll we'll hook it up later. Let's go set up one for the lava and then we get to head back to my favorite place in the world. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, hook all this up. Oops. There we go. After this, we get to head back to my favorite place in the world. Which is my town. My my own personal little getaway. My, my the one. The, the only... The only place where I really feel at home. We're, we're going back to the secret lab. It's what I'm trying to say. But uh, it's just not coming out right. So let's see. Lava. We already got all the pumps set up to pull it out. Let's have it pull it out and go into... Actually, I forgot I had golden pipes. Maybe we should use golden pipes out there. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Go into here. There we go. And we're going to set this one up to... 104. There we go. And then that way when that all... Oh. When that gets pumped out, it'll go into there. And I should go put the engines back up out here. Just so it'll be ready to go. And oh, you know what else we're going to need? If we're going to do this, we're going to need another dimensional anchor. So that we can actually keep this part of the world active whilst we're not here. Otherwise, I don't think it'll work right. So let's see. Dimensional anchor. Dimen... Demin? Demin. It's such a weird word. It sounds like it should be dimensional, but it's really dimensional. So it's dim instead of dem, if that makes sense at all. So it's a block of iron and four gold. It's very simple to make. Uh, let's see. Block of iron. There we go. Four gold. Dimensional anchor. And we'll just plop this one down... Well, might as well put it here in the factory. I kind of want to put it at a midway point, though, so that we don't have to have quite as large an area active. So, I think right around in here would be a good place to set it. And we'll just... I mean, no one else can get in my territory, so I'm not worried, with someone messing with, worried about someone messing with it. Plop it down right there. Activate it. Right now, it's only doing a 1x1 one one area. And uh, we're going to go ahead and extend that to 5x5. Five five, and let's... Uh, toggle our F9 key, is it? Yeah, there we go. And that'll show us what exactly that encompasses. Whoa, there's another one over there. Okay. So yeah, that that should cover everything. It looks like it goes out here. Yeah, it covers all of that. And it definitely covers the inside. Can I do it with one space smaller? If, let's see if I go to a 3x3. Three three. How is that going to cover me? And sometimes it's bugged. You have to like refresh or toggle on and off to, to get it. But yeah, so the oil refinery is not inside of there. So that's not going to do. That's not going to do. We're going to have to go with... Unless we move it over some, but then... No, because see, even the lava isn't really in there. So we'll go ahead and make it 5x5. Five five. The reason I don't want to make it too big is because I don't want to cause any server lag. 
which these things can do, and they have been known to do. But that that shouldn't be too bad. I don't think we really have that many of them active on the server anymore. I ask people, you know, if they're not going to be on for a while or they're not going to be playing actively to please shut them off. But uh, let's see, is this actually cover the lava? What is it, right here? Let's drop in and take a look. Yeah, so that'll cover the lava. That won't actually cover lava extraction, will it? Nah, it's just outside reach. But I'm not worried about that. We're, that's not where we're... Well, how'd you... Were they down there a second ago? I'm pretty sure there were not creepers down there. Weird. Alright, well, all that's set up. Now we get to go back to the base. I'm so excited. And set up a place to extract all of this stuff. So let's see, what are we going to bring back with us? Let's go ahead and... Let's actually store... All of this stuff... That we can store in here. Put the engines up away in here. And I never did put those engines back down, but we'll do that later. It looks like uh, we, we've got basically the same stuff we set out with. We're finally going home, guys. This is what it's all about. Oh yeah, so we've 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 left home. We've, we've had our little adventure out here in the wild. We've learned a lot about oil and lava and stuff like that. And it looks like it's it's time for us to uh, cats. The cats are on the prowl. Look at that. I didn't even notice. So the cats are on the prowl, and so am I. I'm going home. To the place where I belong. I'm trying to sing it out of tune so that it, you know, it doesn't really cover copyright. But uh, maybe I should change up some of, the, some of the worlds. The words, I should say. Not worlds. Ah, the bridge. Ah, I'm so happy. I haven't been back here in so long. Okay. Come on, buddy. I should have probably eaten before I left, but it doesn't look like it's too dangerous out here. Whoa. Whoa. Random lag. It's, oh, I see the tower. The power tower, the energy tower, whatever I called it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, folks. We're going home. Whee! I don't remember home being this glitchy. I wonder what I left on. I hope nothing's, like, spilling over down there. All right, and here we go. Ah. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. What's going on over here? I thought I turned these engines off. Well, they're off now. There we go. Considering I took all the stuff out of these, they shouldn't be producing anything right now. Yeah, they're not producing anything. Still got plenty of red matter. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at this. Look at this. The teleporting room. Oh, man. I'm really home. I'm really home. Look at all... Oh, look at all this. Ah, oh, look at all this. Oh, wait. Where's my armor? Oh, yeah. Quantum suit armor. That's what it's all about right there. That's... that. Ah. Uh, Food. Give me food. I need food. Feed me. Still got some bread. Bet y'all thought I took all the bread with me, didn't you? Well, nope. Left plenty here. There we go. What else is there? What, what, what are we here for? Right, right, right. I almost forgot what we were here for. We're here to build a new power system area where we, we collect the power that we pump in. And where are we going to build that? Let's see. Can we build it over here? Good old to-do list that we never actually put anything that we needed to do on. Got my bed that I never... I think I've slept in there like once or twice maybe. Oh man. This is... You guys, you don't know how happy this makes me. I've missed this place. I have actually legitimately missed this place. And I'm so happy to be home right now. But where are we going to be pumping this stuff into? Let's see. How about over there in that dark corner? Nothing seems to be going on over there. Let's get our materials. We're going to need some basalt brick. And we're going to need some lamps, but we'll worry about the lamps later. Let's get the brick down first. So let's see. Artificial blocks. Basalt brick. Fantastic. Just get a few stacks of that. Oh, wow. Sweet. Okay. I didn't know that if you cycled through pressing... Or if you pressed the, uh, the scroll wheel, it cycled through the different sorting options. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Alrighty, and we're going to need some torches. Where do I find torches? Would that be in the... I don't think that would actually be sorted into anything specific. It wouldn't be. Nah. Uh, dude, look at all this stuff I've got. Look at all this stuff, guys. Oh, man. Look at this. Random bat boxes and transformers from times long past. Overclockers. We are never going to be poor again because we have everything we could possibly want here. Look at this. Everything. I'm, I'm home. This is where I was meant to be. I was never meant to be out there on a volcano. 
That's not who I am. No. No, this is me right here. So let's build it kind of lower. Right here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. What am I doing? Hold on. Hold on. This jetpack is for losers. Let's face it. Oh, it, it gets the job done when you're, you know, out in the wilderness. But we're not in the wilderness anymore. We are in an area of high refinement. We are in my house. And as a resident of my house, I deserve the best. And the best is a flying ring. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, it is good to be back. It is good to be back. All right, let's throw up a torch. And let's get to work on this thing. Good grief. Someone has got to have something massive running on the server to cause this much lag. It's got to be close by, too, because usually when there's server lag, it's only near the thing that's causing it. So, I mean, someone around here has got to have something going because there's no explanation for why the server would be acting like this. I have a very powerful server. It might just be this area. I could, might be able to, good grief, make it stop, make it stop. What is going on here? Ridiculous. That's what this is. It... Look, it gets worse when I look behind me. So something off in that direction is causing some major problems. Let's go see if we can't figure out what it is real fast. Ah, no, 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 no. We got to stay focused on our goal. I'll look into it later. For now, where's glass? We'll go ahead and get our tank set up and then get everything running. And actually, I might already have some tanks around here, although it, I probably don't. I don't know what I'd have tanks for. I've got all the sorts of piping, but I, I don't think I'd have tanks for anything. Fly! I have to set up proper lighting over there later. Oh, good grief, this is just getting ridiculous. Alright, tanks. Let's make a whole bunch of tanks. Eight tanks, not nearly enough. I should have made more glass. Er, let's go get some more. Okay. We'll set this one up to 103. We'll set, oh gosh, set this one up to 104. Oops, not what I meant to do. Hmm. That's what we had, wasn't it? 103 and 104 back there? Zero connected pipes. Oh, this is a receiver. Can receive. 103. Alright. And can receive 104. So that's the frequencies, but it doesn't seem to have any connected pipes. Let's go back to... Why is there so much lag over here? Let's go back to our, our old base, or our new base, whatever you want to call it. Let's go back to the testing facility. Okay, yeah, this, this seat of lag's not nearly as bad up here. Yeah, it is. I lied. Okay. Let's fly back over here, and this is the way to travel. Man. Why did I leave the ring behind? What, what, was there a reason I didn't take the ring with us back in the day? Because if so, I'm, I'm really starting to forget what it was. Okay, so this one should be set up to, uh, let's see. The 104 frequency? Yeah. It's not a receiver, it's a sender. That's strange. Hmm. Shut that. Let's fly over here. This one should be set to the 103 frequency, but it is also not attached to anything. Well, now it is on the 104 frequency. All right, well, let's set that one to 104 for some reason. Set 
Set this one to 103. Gurg! I see, they're trying to connect to each other. That's the problem there. So the two pipes here are connected. Is it possible that maybe the pipes are too far away, or maybe one of them's not loaded or something correctly? I'd hate to th find out that I did all that work for nothing. Alright, back to the secret base. Well, guys, I really have no idea why this setup is not working. I mean, every time I look at it, uh, it just seems like everything would be set up correctly, and if I threw the switch, these would start working, but... I don't know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm just... Oh. 